Hey guys, Crystal here at Crystal's Crafties. Today's tutorial, I'm going to show you how to make pin wrap mock-ups. Now I have another tutorial that teaches you how to make the pin wrap itself. And I've had a lot of people ask me how I made the pin wrap mock-ups for that tutorial to put on the um, thumbnail photo. So that's what I'm going to show you how to do today. Uh, we're going to do pin wrap mock-ups in two different programs. I'm going to start with Inkscape because you're going to get a, a better look with Inkscape. But if you don't think Inkscape is right for you, uh, when I'm done with this one, we're going to hop over to Canva and do the same thing. So you can do this for free in Inkscape and in Canva. Um, you don't need the Pro Canva account for it, and Inkscape is always free. Um, if you don't have Inkscape, I will link to a video on how to um, download Inkscape and get it all set up. But let's just jump right in. So I have made these pin wrap mockups here in Inkscape. I'm going to delete them and we're going to start from scratch so you can see everything that you need to do. Okay, so I have Inkscape pulled up and I've already got it set up like I would show you in that other video. And I have locked my screen. It's important to do this. It, this is what it looks like if you don't lock it, but make sure you come in here and lock it so that everything you're doing stays in perspective. It doesn't go to a different scale. Okay, first we need to get in our blank pin wrap mock. So for that, this is what we're using. I got this from Creative Fabrica. If you do not have a membership, this file is $2.25. Um, if you have the subscription, then it's free. Um, I also have a link that I will show you that'll take you to this page here where you can try the all access subscription for just $1. Um, so that, that way you could get these pin wraps that I'm going to show you and you can get the um, pin mock-up and you can get it all for just $1. That'll give you a whole month for $1. You can, um, you can download unlimited things for that month for just that $1. And then it will renew at $19 a month, which it's normally $29 a month. So that's a great deal. Um, if you click my link to get this, it will take you to this page. Um, and you can't really get to anything else. Like if you're scrolling down, you're not gonna be able to see all of the other things. But just click Creative Fabrica right here and it'll take you to the home page. And then you can put in a search. So let's say, let's search for pin wraps. Oops. And you're going to be taken to all the thousands and thousands of pin wraps that they have. Let's see, there's 2,251 that just pulled up in the initial search. But anyways, I'll link to this file and I'll link to how to get the subscription for a dollar, but this is what we're gonna download and it's gonna give us this blank pen. So go grab this file, get it downloaded, and then you can hop back over here to Inkscape. And now we're gonna upload that file. So file, import, and just come and find where you have saved that at. Mine is right here, Epoxy, epoxy Pen Wrap Mockup. Double click it and it will pull it into your project. Okay, so we're just gonna leave that sitting there for now. We don't need to do anything else. Let's come and get the pin wrap. So over here, these are the ones I used and I'll link to this as well. Uh, without the subscription, this file is $3.99 and you would just download that. But like I said, you can come back over here and you can search for whatever pin wraps you want. You don't have to use, you know, the ones that I have here in the tutorial. You can use whatever you want. But again, you will download, save them to your computer, and then we'll come over here and import them. So file, import, and go find those. And we'll do this one here. Okay, now, if we just kind of come over here and try to put this on the pin, it's not really going to look right. You can kind of arrange it on here, but all this scrunching in and stuff, you're really changing the look of your pin wrap, and that's not what it's gonna look like when you put it on your pin. So let me delete what we've done there. We need to kind of give ourselves a template to put this design onto. To do that, 
we're just going to grab this square tool here and we'll draw a rectangle. Any rectangle will be fine. Now to get out of it so that we can move this around, we have to come click the selector arrow again. If I don't and I try to move this around, I'm just drawing more triangles or I'm sorry, rectangles and I don't want to do that. So click your selector and then let's bring this over here. Now we can really start working to make this the shape that we need. I'm going to increase the size of my screen here so you can better see what I'm doing. To do that, I'm just selecting, I'm just pushing the um, plus key on my keyboard. Okay, here's our square. Now you'll notice our pin has rounded edges. Our square or rectangle does not, but we can make them rounded. Click your square again over here in your menu, and you're going to get a square here and a circle here. Drag this circle down a little bit, and it will start to round the edges of your rectangle. So now I have a round edge, and I can just line it up. And I'm going to use my arrows here to drag this in. And just like that, I now have something that's going to look like the rounded parts of the pin. I'm going to scroll down, get the bottom. It's too long, so I'll just again use my arrows, kind of shrink everything in here. Now the bottom is a little, I'm going to blow this up really big. This is not curving well. Do you see that? It has too much curve, so I need to fix that. Come back up to the top of my pen, select it, get my curve going again. Now I can arrange this however I want it to up and down the curve. Do you see that? It's really changing the amount of curve that I've got going here. All right, let's try that. All right, that should be good. Let's come back up here. And I'm just really zooming in so I can make sure that I've got everything just the way it should be. Now I've overlapped at the bottom. Don't worry about that. It's going to be just fine. I'm going to make it a little skinnier. Zoom out. All right, I think we're going to be good to go there. So. This now is what we're going to fill with this pattern. So zooming in again so we can see what we're doing. Now you want to take your pin wrap that you have downloaded and just size it to be as long as your rectangle, maybe a little over the top, a little over the bottom. And then you want to place this rectangle where you'd like to showcase the design. So like this is where it would be on the front of the pen. This is where it would be on the back of the pen once you've actually wrapped your pen. But just whatever you want to showcase, what you think you want the prettiest side to be. And I'm just going to kind of place it right here. Now, this right now is a shape because we drew it with our shapes. For the next step, we need to make this a path. Don't worry too much about what that means. Just know that it's something you need to do to make this work. So select your rectangle come to path, object to path. That's all you need to do. Don't worry about it after that. Just make sure that if you have this selected, it does say path. If you don't have it a path, it says rectangle. Okay, so we have our rectangle drawn with our curves to match the pin. We have turned it to a path. We have placed it on top of our pin wrap right where we want it. I'm going to duplicate this so I don't have to do it again. Okay, now drag a box around your rectangle and your pin wrap so that they are both selected. Come to object, clip, set clip, and just like that, you can come and stick this on your pin wrap. And it's done. Now, for a more realistic look, we're going to take this layer that we just made, this pin wrap, and we're going to push it underneath the Inkjoy pin. These are the um, options that let you raise and lower your layers. So with this selected, with our pin wrap that we just created selected, we're going to push it to the bottom. And now it has that realistic look because this pin right here has all of these amazing highlights and shadows that make your design look so real. 
And look, this is all shadowing. It only looked white because it was on a white background. But if I put it over here on the blue, now it looks blue. So it's an amazing file. That's why I want you to go get that one. But yeah, you'll just put it on your pen, line it up, and there is pen wrap one. If you want to make another one, you just bring in another file, import, let me go get this one here. And we do the exact same thing. We, I just made a copy of this. To duplicate something, you can right click and duplicate it. You can come up here to edit and duplicate. You can hit control D on your keyboard. There's a lot of different ways you can duplicate this, but duplicate it as many times as you need to show off all your different pen wraps. So again, I'll just drag this out to the size I need, decide where this needs to go. I'm going to raise that to the front so we can see it. All right, that looks good. Oh, let me go ahead and duplicate it. I'm going to get all three of these on here. Okay, drag my box around that. Object, clip, set. There's my second one. Let's go get the last one. Let's import that last paper. Let's make it the size we need. Put our pin on top of it, or our shape that we made. Select everything, object, clip, set. And now we can just duplicate this pin again to bring it over here to this one. And then we'll duplicate it again to bring it over here to this one. Okay, you would want to line those up better than me, but I didn't want to waste all of our time lining these up. Anyways, this is what you have here if you're doing it in Inkscape. Now let's hop over to Canva and I'll show you how to do it there. I'm just going to close this whole program out and we'll go over to Canva. Okay, so Again, you do not need Canva Pro. You can do this in the free version of Canva, but if you want to try out Pro, I've got a link in the description that will take you to it and you can give it a try. Okay, so log into Canva or create your own account and create a design. Now, most of the time you're going to be doing this to sell your products. Um, so you're going to want a custom size and you'll size it to whatever platform you're selling it on. Um, if you're selling on Etsy, you want this 2700 by 2025 pixels. Uh, if you're selling on like Facebook or Instagram or something like that, there are templates already in there that will put the sizing for you just the way you want it. But for Etsy, we're going to go with this 2700 by 2025. And we're just going to do the same thing. We're going to upload everything into here. So click Upload. And to get your pin in, you're going to upload files. And you're going to go find your pin. You would double click it and open. I've already got the pin, but I do not have the backgrounds. So let me go get those. I'm going to shift and select them all and click open. And here they are uploading into Canva. Okay. So let's go get the pin. Where is it? Come here, pin. I have you in here somewhere. There it is. All right. So I accidentally clicked it twice. It's in there twice. All righty. So there's the pin. Let's put in the papers. I just clicked them one at a time and it brought all three of them in here. I'm just going to move them out of the way. And I'm going to increase my screen size here. To increase it on Canva, you hold Control Plus, or you can use the slider down here. Okay, so for this one, you just take your pin, you take your first paper, and you place it over the pin, again, like before, at the point you think is going to be the prettiest where you want the front or top of your pin to be. Now I'm going to bring down the transparency on this a little bit so we can see through it to the pin. I'm going to make the screen larger so we can really see what we're doing. So I'm going to align this at the very top of the pin, and then I'm going to crop this. So just drag your handle from the side here and pull it to the edge of your pin. 
from the side here, pull it to the edge of your pin, go down to the bottom of your pin, pull up. And now we can bring that transparency back up. And we will move this just like we did in Inkscape, we'll move this down to the layer below. So position and all the way to the back. And now it's underneath the pin. This is what I do not like about Canva though. We have no way to round this edge. It just kind of is what it is. So if anyone really zooms in, like they're like, oh, let me really look at this. It is 100% apparent that this shape is placed underneath or on top of the pin. But that's okay. If you are okay with that, you're just going to do it again. So I duplicated the pen. I hit Control D just like I did in Inkscape. Going to bring this over here. Bring it in. Bring it in. Go down, get the bottom. All right. And let's do the last one. So we'll duplicate the pin again. Control D will duplicate it. I'm going to bring it over to here. And let's work on this paper. Let's put it maybe here. Okay. And so that's how you would do it in, let me group all this together here. And just kind of align these. There you go. That's how you would make your pin wraps in Canva. Um, to download this, you just come to share, download, and if you have the um, pro account, you can make a transparent background and you can put this on any other kind of background if you want. If you don't have the pro account, you will get this white square behind it, but that will download it for you. I think I forgot to go over how to download them in Inkscape and I already closed that out. So let me just open Inkscape back up. Okay, just get something on the screen here so you can see what we're doing. Okay, so to download your item, that's what happens if you don't lock your screen. Did you see that? We, we do not want that. Um, but anyways, you'll select whatever it is. If you've got multiple items on here, you select all of them by dragging a box around them. Then you come to File, Export. You will click Selection, make sure this is highlighted, and hit Export Selection Only. Come down here, decide where you want it to go. I will take it to my desktop, save, and it will export for you. And that's how we do that one. All right, guys, that is all I have for you. We will see you next time.